Another letter from the solicitor. This one on behalf of my clients, Mr. S.J. Hardwick and Miss T. Partridge. Which ones are they? Young engaged couple, flat nine. He was a teacher, taught physics. She was in marketing, and their mum lent him the money. Poor things. Mm. Solicitor doesn't mince his words. Put it on the file, love. I think that's got anything to do with us. No one seems to appreciate that we've lost more than they have. Mm. Mm, people are funny about these things. Have you finished with that? We need to look at the jobs pages. Have you not heard of the internet? Uh, oh, there's um, there's a job going for a receptionist at a drugs clinic up in town. I'm thinking of applying. Uh, drugs clinic. Don't want to inject poison into the body. You should just let them get on with it. Oh, it's so charitable, isn't it? Come on, hand it over. We can't be on the bread line. Where are you going to live? Ah. Oh, was that a stupid question? Well, we're just thinking short term, aren't we? Mm. Depends if he can behave himself. Hello, my mate Tommy. Thomas, thanks for ringing me back. I did not ruin everything. I simply warned her what she was getting into. Uh, well, I'm going to go into town. We're shopping. Is it really the time? No, Billy, job hunting. There's a row of solicitors on Merchant Square. I mean, I should have done it years ago instead of getting mixed up with Pat and Tracy. So, I'm going to put on a real sharp suit, take a load of CVs, Got some printed on the beige colour paper. You know all that stuff with the right nice texture to it, you know? Oh, how could they resist? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm just going to stay put. OK. All right. See ya. Mm. Mwah! Hi, Chris. Chris. Oh, it's Catherine. Chris. How's this, our jobs? Sorry? Oh, uh, uh, both. It was sort of tied in together. How so? It was a, a, a vicar, vicarage situation. Seriously? You were a vicar? Yeah, I, I was, yeah. Good on you, leaving all that behind. The world would be a better place without any of them. What's wrong with her? I'm not sure. Um, that was a bit reductive, if you don't mind me saying. Pardon? Imagine a world without faith. Then mm. all we'd have to do is eradicate climate change. Oh, blast. It's no good. What is it, Cathy? Well, I can't remember my vows. Well, I used to read my sermons into a dictaphone and then just play them back to myself. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Eight of them, in fact. So you've got eight dictaphones. Where you go? <sighs> so you'll have a lion on a Sunday. Let your hair down a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I will. I bet she doesn't come back. Of course she will. Have a little faith. 